Would you be interested to learn the seven telltale indicators that you will never be wealthy if I informed you about them? I'll reveal with you seven warning signals that you'll never be rich in this video so you can avoid them and achieve financial success in your own life. Be sure to subscribe to get posted on self-improving videos like this. Here in the Wisdom Mentor channel, we take pride in possessing a good eye for spotting telltale signs of why some people will never be rich. So without much talking, let's get on with the first sign. Reason number one, your saving focused mindset. Now, don't get me wrong. Saving money is crucial because if you never do, you will never acquire a sizable amount of wealth. But where the poor go wrong is that they place an excessive amount of emphasis on being thrifty because most people don't know how to improve their income. The only way they can save money is by reducing expenses. The wealthy, however, number of income streams they may have can testify that this approach is not the best. This is due to the fact that even if you reduce all your spending to a minimum, you still won't be able to create big wealth if your income is insufficient to begin with. Rich people divide their attention between earning and saving. Because of this, the average billionaire, who has seven separate sources of income, is, believe it or not, just as focused on creating money as they are on preserving. Wealthy people frequently have many sources of income, such as rental properties, dividends, business income, and interest accruing on their investment indicating that they are generating income in virtually every conceivable method. Therefore, if you want to achieve true financial security, you need to devote the same amount of effort to earning income as you do to saving it. Reason number two, not investing money. If you don't invest your money, you probably won't ever be wealthy. Investing is one of the best methods to increase your income over time, and the earlier you begin, the better. Just consider Warren Buffett as an illustration. Buffett purchased his first stock when he was just 11 years old, and over decades of investing, he has grown to become one of the richest individuals on the planet. Millionaires often invest 20% of their annual household income, making investing a substantial component of their wealth-building plan. The first step to becoming richer than you ever imagined is as simple as opening an investment account and making regular contributions to an index fund or your retirement account. Contrary to the first reason, Getting assurance from saving money is not good practice, as the accumulated money on your savings account can be depreciated easily by inflation. Reason number three, overspending. Unfortunately, the majority of people believe that increasing their income will solve their saving problems. But as income increases, so do expenses. For instance, your regular sedan might be adequate when your annual income is $50,000. But if your income suddenly doubles, you might be tempted to purchase a luxury car, which would impede your capacity to save. This issue occurs because of lack of financial control. School teaches you things like fundamental math and reading skills, but it never actually teaches. A firm grasp of the advantages of saving and investing 
may be developed with the aid of your relevant financial management skills, which is why many people struggle to manage their expenditures unless their parents give them financial education. On the other hand, when proper spending and investment are done, possessing this information can make even individuals who earn minimal income fairly affluent over time. As a result, if you want to be wealthy, you must avoid overspending at all costs. Reason number four, you depend on your paycheck. You can either operate a business or receive a paycheck in life to support yourself. The majority choose the latter. It's common to trade time for money at a 9 to 5 job for a variety of reasons. First of all, starting a business is harder than getting a job. Second, being a business owner lacks advantages like benefits, a pension, and a consistent income every two weeks that come with working a job. Finally, all of the skills we have been taught are for finding a job. As you get older, you attend school, select a college major, and then cross your fingers that you will find employment in your field, where you'll spend at least 40 years before retiring. Unfortunately, option B, starting your own business and working to create wealth beyond your wildest dreams, is never presented to you in school. This explains why millions of individuals report to their 9 to 5 jobs every day, but just a small number launch their own companies and let the market determine their worth. However, wealthy people are aware that earning a wage would never make you wealthy. That is because if your company pays you more than that, it will result in lower profits for the owners. And given that people are naturally inclined to act in self-interest, they will always want to pay you the least amount possible. Therefore, giving up the typical wage lifestyle is necessary if you want to become wealthy. Reason number five, you are not goal-driven. Without financial goals, you are likely to never be wealthy. Just as you cannot hit a target if it does not exist. Before creating a financial plan, it will be simpler to accumulate actual money if you have a clear, defined aim in mind. Writing out your goal for instance, amassing a million dollars, and then outlining the measures you must take to achieve it would be your first step. Unfortunately, poor people cannot even take this first step since they have no idea what they want in terms of riches. They may tell you they want more money or to be affluent, but they have no idea what those things entail. However, if you ask a wealthy person the same question, they will be able to precisely describe their objectives, the time frame in which they will be accomplished, and the specific steps they will take to do so. Reason number six, you stopped improving. You will never get wealthy if you never leave your comfort zone. Unfortunately, the majority of people adopt a salaried lifestyle and attend to their routine. They work at their job all day and waste their evenings watching Netflix. While the wealthy seek the contrary, they work hard to make every element of their lives comfortable. The wealthy understand that where your comfort zone stops is where wealth generation begins. Because many successful entrepreneurs don't know where their next salary will come from, 
they thrive in ambiguity. Consider Jeff Bezos as an example. In his 20s, he held numerous high-profile roles in important tech and financial firms, but he always felt like he was intended for more. Today, Bezos is the richest man in the world, while earning hundreds of millions of dollars and serving as senior vice president. Jeff decided to push himself and launch what is now known as Amazon, a company that sells books. So look at your life, and if it appears like you are optimizing it for comfort, you can kiss your dreams of being wealthy goodbye. Reason number 7. You stopped paying yourself. We've already established that conserving money is a necessary component of building wealth. But regrettably, the majority of people prevent themselves from saving by not paying themselves first because they pay their landlord, credit card company, and government when they get paid. They frequently have little to nothing left over at the end of the month themselves. But one of the secrets to becoming wealthy is paying oneself first, as made popular by the book The Richest Man in Babylon. The book suggests devoting 10% of your salary to yourself each month to expand your savings over time, setting up automatic deductions from your paycheck is one approach to guarantee that you save this 10% every month. Most employers will let you set up an automated deduction from your pay that can be sent to a different savings account. As a result, it is far less enticing to spend the money you are saving because you never see it. Additionally, if you think you can save more than 10%, Go ahead. Your financial objectives will be reached more quickly the more you are able to deduct from your income and ultimately save. As you might have predicted, the wealthy adhere to this approach obsessively since if you don't pay yourself first, you are placing other people's financial objectives ahead of your own. Did you notice a few reasons that resonated with you? Comment them down below and let's help each other build a community that leads to success. Be sure to like the Wisdom Mentor channel for more videos like this. We'll see you at the next one.